Hey, this is Kevin with Tri State Ministries. Um, hello. <laughs> this channel is dedicated to all different religions, and uh, I believe in the quest for knowledge and light, that's for sure. And we're all in this together. So it's all right to be human. When your mind wanders while you pray, don't be surprised or upset. Simply return your attention to me. Share a secret smile with me, knowing that I understand. Rejoice in my love for you, which has no limits or conditions. Whisper my name in loving contentment, assured that I'll never leave you or forsake you. Intersperse these peaceful interludes abundantly throughout your day. This practice will enable you to attain a quiet and gentle spirit, which is pleasing to me. As you live in close contact with me, the light of my presence filters through you to bless others. Uh, your weakness and woundlessness are openings through which the light of the knowledge of my glory shines forth. My strength and power shows themselves most effective in your weakness. It, well, a lot of the ones that I've got in hand is a book called uh, Jesus Calling and Enjoying Peace in His Presence. Uh, Sarah Young, and it's 365 daily devotionals. I've got uh, Quran tours, stuff like that, switched into English and uh, Buddhism, Hinduism, and a lot of isms I can't even pronounce really. Um, but so I'm going to tend to probably go through more of the Christian faith because that's the culture that I grew up in. And it's not that I believe anything over anything else necessarily but I believe that there's a consciousness that we are all part of that we conceive as God there is and I've studied some quantum physics and everything else and they've all but discovered the field the particle the Higgs boson of in this field that tells everything what to be um, kind of like our DNA inside of us tells us uh, how we're gonna be on the quantum physics level it, they, they show the test that our um, consciousness affects our reality. Um, when split light test is one in particular, that a, the, the mere fact of observing the experiment predict, er, affects the outcome, which is really tripping. It's hard to understand, but the awesomeness, the awesomeness that, that we're part of is God and it is that consciousness. And it, um, even in the Bible, God says things like Jesus says <coughs> excuse me Jesus says um, what I can do you can do um, he taught the outward church to the masses and it says that in the Bible and it, he taught the inward church to his disciples which my take on that is the outward church to the masses um, he didn't teach his super secret stuff to he taught that to his disciples into his yeah the inward church um the and what that tells me or feels to me is that uh that's where the inward uh, uh being a spiritual being of light uh, i do feel that organized religions through design or by accident or self-preservation or whatever has withheld a, some information due to the masses um, on spiritual growth to either hinder us, slow us down, make the need for them more. And I'm not saying all of them do it because all of them probably doesn't even know. But way back whenever when everything started getting pushed around, it got changed. And it's unfortunate that, I mean, today I think it's smarter for everyone to look to all religions feels right well first off everyone i believe instinctively in our consciousness we know good from evil children do they have it honestly um i've said on other video that uh they're at one with the consciousness that we're all part of as a, as a child and it's awesome and great and that's why kids are kids and they're, and they're in tune to so much more than our adult conscious mind can even comprehend which i think is trippy and I think it's by design that way too. Um, but the consciousness that we're all part of, it's great. I mean, and like I said, the uh, quantum field test, 
that show, you know, the split light that shows that our consciousness affects the reality. Jesus Christ said, hey, what I can do, you can do. And I think on a somewhat ever smaller level, we can do that. And, and that test proves it. Um, people that have no religious faith or they're looking. I have a friend of mine that means a lot to me. And so does his whole family, really. And his wife's very intelligent. And uh, she has a master's degree in psychology. And the thing is, and I respect her brain quite a bit and as a mother and a person and everything else but um, I don't know if she has faith it's none of my business necessarily <clears throat> but her husband had said something like oh he didn't think that she you know thinks that we're just here and then we die or whatever um, I don't believe that I don't believe that our con the fact of what we're made up of is everything in this universe which tells me we're all part of something and maybe it's all alive and our consciousness is part of that. And our consciousness is tied together as one omnipotent thing and one thing that's self-aware, which I perceive and would say that's God. And it does promote love. You go from quantum physics to the fractals. If um, Research it. Learn about it. Um, I'm not an instructor by no means, and I don't know everything verbatim. So don't turn to me, turn to science and, and all books of religion. But I can tell you from what I've read and what I can comprehend is everything is break, broke up into light, fractals, frequencies. Um, and at those levels with frequencies and fractals and particles, that's the fractals and the vibration, the frequencies, more that's when those harmonics can create and are tied with our consciousness and we can affect things. No, we do not know how to create like God. No, we do not know how to do the miracles of Jesus Christ. Um, and I'm not saying that. I'm just saying we are all part of that one. And the oneness that Jesus taught with parables and everything else in the Bible and other religious texts of other religious leaders and prophets it all kind of points in one direction <clears throat> and that's the oneness of everything that we're all part of and it's too great to comprehend i and i'm not saying i'm a zen master peace loving never upset person because i'm far from it a lot of the times um but every day i try to get centered even in the mornings um throughout the day whenever there's if I'm working and there's something that really is biting me or trying to feel like it's attacking me or, you know, I'll read a daily devotional or I'll center myself, try to quiet down and just think. Um, because that, I find peace in that or sanity, you know, you, you got to calm down, you, you know. The materialistics and the, our day-to-day -day activities has no real bearing on our spiritual love side it does but it doesn't i mean a lot of things on this plane of existence distract us from inevitably going and being where we need to be um it's unfortunate that that's how our reality is right now maybe someday maybe when we physically evolve closer to our emotional spiritual self um everybody can love and be together as one I've got friends of mine that I know I've spoke to about this for years since we were teenage and oh that's a pipe dream that's a that, that's never going to happen and uh, you're nuts and that doesn't exist I I see the reality aspect that they say and and have you know when they say that but the realm of faith and love and happiness and um, hope is different than how things go on a day-to-day -day basis. I mean, it's in another place. It's in our heart. It's inside of us. It's in our soul. And at that level of souls and happiness and inside of us, we can have that. We can make that bubble with our family and loved ones. And even though the day-to-day -day distractions will take us from that, we can always go to that place. And it says that quite a bit in the Bible. Pick up a stone and I'm there. Um, go to the dark room. Look inside yourself. Go to go to a quiet place and speak to me and find me. Um, these are things that, like I said, I'm not. I'm not a teacher. I'm not a scientist. I'm not any of those things. I'm a father. I'm a son of the consciousness of God, um, just like everyone. Um, 
I do most of these, like I said, to to help myself, to help me, and it helps me help myself and love my kids better. I don't know. Um, hopefully, they'll always be able to turn to the videos and audios that I've made on my computer and everything else because um, I always hope my father did that, and hopefully I didn't delete anything when I got his computers and or couldn't find them because um, he loved working on computers and everything, so hopefully I didn't do that. But peace and love. We'll see you.